welcome to my channel if this is your first time here then hello welcome how you doing now that i have your attention i'm just gonna give you 10 seconds to join the family to join the glitter fam so subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and while you're at it thumbs up this video so youtube knows that little old me is a little fabulous and she needs a a little shine not like i don't shine enough but i just need a little shine and if you're a returning subscriber then welcome welcome back like thank you for coming back as you can see i don't want to say as you can see by the title of the video because you already saw the title of the video as you can see by my earrings <laughs> we're ready for a vacation I like this earrings, y'all. Like I got it as a souvenir from my friend's um birthday. We went on a trip. We went to Morocco, and this was part of the thank you for coming. And we all the girls had it. We took fabulous pictures with this earrings, and I thought I'll pull it out for the video because this video is about vacation. So these are fragrances that I recommend you grab, or I will be taking with me if I'm going on vacation now when it comes to vacation i get nervous when i'm packing because you have to check in your fragrances so i'm like do i take my heavy hitters <laughs> do i take the expensive fragrances and sometimes i'm like this is a time for me to just take clones and cheapies <laughs> i'm like that and then sometimes i want to take the heavy hitters maybe one but these are fragrances that I would like to take on vacation. Now, when that vacation comes and I'm packing my suitcase, I always have this. I'm like, maybe my suitcase is going to get stolen. Let's just go ahead and throw in a club de nuit there <laughs> and go. But these fragrances are giving vacation. And when I mean vacation, I'm not only talking about the beach. Because that's not the only vacation that we're taking, okay? So, in no particular order, the first fragrance that... I will be taking it with me on vacation. That is a Cento Overdose from the house of Zerzhov. This to me is a heavy hitter. And when I say vacation, I'm not thinking about the beach with this. Like for me, vacation to me is not just the beach and water. For me, I want you to take me to <laughs> Paris. Oui, oui. <laughs> let's go. Let's go to the museum. Let's go see. I want to get on the... I want to go to the Eiffel Tower. I want to take those kind of pictures. That's what I'm getting with this. And then when we're done sightseeing in Paris, you're going to be like, you know what? What's that Chanel bag that you say you want? And like, yeah, do I get a jumbo or should I get like the seasonal bag? It's also given. Let's just stop by the flagship Hermes store. Let's see if they're going to give you a bag from your wish list that's what i'm getting so this to me is not a beach scent this is pine it's jasmine it has fruits it's like a fruity floral it's opulent it is for the rich and wealthy it's unisex but for me i love to wear it i feel like because of the jasmine it can lean a bit feminine but i know men that love this i know a guy that took it she he took it <laughs> from his wife and he's been hitting it up he finished it and she's been looking at her bottle like it's empty but this is such a gorgeous scent and i recommend you take it on vacation with you anywhere in the world if you want to smell rich you want to smell like a rich auntie you want to smell like a fabulous queen a cento overdose i am excited to take her on vacation with me who's coming on that vacation are you going to open up your wallet because when i spray this it's giving money 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 and that is a gentle overdose from the house of zerjo the next fragrance that i am excited to take with me on vacation i'm just gonna hit it because it's a summer puncher for me this is if you're going to a place that's really really hot really warm and it's and you just want to smell fresh you want to smell like a burst of a juicy fruit i think you need to get your hands on Hashivat by Nishane. So this is for all my tropical queens. You're going to a place that's very, very hot. You know, if you're going to like a, you know, Jamaica, this will be it. If you're going to Mexico and it's really hot, the time you're going on your vacation, I think you should take this. This is pineapple. It has woody touches. It gives that Creed Aventus vibe. So you're smelling rich. 
you're smelling wealthy. If you're a man, you're smelling like inviting. The ladies are going to be all over you. They're going to be feeling you. When you walk by, you're just going to give them a little. And, and all the ladies will be turning like, whoa. If you get in the elevator and you come out and somebody tries to get into the elevator, they're going to be turning around asking like, whoa, what was that? That's what you get with this. So for me, this is when, if I'm going on vacation and there's going to be beach involved, there's going to be water, palm trees. I'm going to be taking Hashivat with me on vacation. I think that she just goes with this outfit. If it's giving scent of the day. Oh, explosive. The next fragrance on my vacation list, like this is like, I'm going to, you're taking me to Germany. You know, you're taking me to like, we're, we're going to, we're sightseeing and it's a bit cooler over there. It's not just about the beach. It's just about sightseeing and being luxurious. You know, we only like to be luxurious. And this is not a summer fragrance. It's given free fall, you know, for me, but then it's like all year round. And, but I think that, you might be able to get away with wearing the summer nights, and that is Alexandria II from the House of Zerzhov. This is so good. <laughs> it has oud. <laughs> Do we want to wear oud in the in the summer on vacation? No, but we're not going to the tropical places. We're going to Germany, you know. We're we're, we're going to London. You know what? Let's go to London. This is such a gorgeous scent from the House of Zerzhov. We're going to London pre-fall. I'm taking this with me. This smells so luxurious. This smells opulent. This is unisex. If you're a man, you would love this. If you're a woman and you like to smell like a boss, a woman with money, this is giving business class ticket. We're not in, we're not in economy. We don't even do premium economy. We're doing business on first class with Alexandria too. If you have not gotten your nose on it, then you don't know what wealth and money smells like because this smells so luxurious. Oh, I can just see myself in my dreams <laughs> carrying my dream bag. Oh, with this, oh, it's everything. So this is Alexandria II from the House of Zerzhov. It is giving vacation, upscale vacation. We're going to London. We're going to Germany and I will be taking this with me. I need to book a trip to the UK because I have family over there and I've been wanting to go for a while now. Normally I go like once in like two years or a year I go, but this is the longest streak I've had without going to the UK. So maybe I'll take this with me when I finally go. I don't know if I want to do this year. Maybe I'll do next year, but I, I need to go to the UK. I'll be bringing Alexandria too with me. The next fragrance that I recommend you taking on vacation. Now we're back to the tropical. You know, we're back to, we're back to Miami. We're back to Mexico. We're back to Jamaica. We're back to Punta Cana. You know, we're back to Puerto Rico and it's hot. And that is Soleil Blanc from the house of Tom Ford. You either love it or you hate it. It's either sun tan, sunscreen lotion or it's coconut and pistachios. But for me, this is just nice. It's a really gorgeous scent for vacation. And I think this layers perfectly with the um, Soleil Blanc shimmery um, body oil. You put that on and you put this on top of it. You just smell like summer. This is summer vacation. This is not um, fall vacation. This is summer vacation in a bottle. I'm halfway through and this is my second bottle. I'm scared I may burn through her this summer, <laughs> but I had to put her down because I tore her up when I was pregnant and I had to get a second bottle and I think I kind of wore her out and now I'm like bringing her back up. But Soleil Blanc is a really gorgeous scent. It's like an oldie but goodie. Very, I feel like it was really loved and then it became polarizing. So you either love it or you hate it. But for me, it's a love am i obsessed with it right now no but if i'm thinking vacation and i'm going somewhere do i think of soleil blanc absolutely it's a really gorgeous vacation scent the next fragrance that i'm taking with me on vacation location location italy we're going to italy we're going to be on a boat somewhere in italy this is that the prettiest girl in the world you know the agbani derego combo we're taking her on vacation and we're going in the summer but 
she may get sticky. She may get too sweet because, you know, we're topping the Lena up with Killian's Love Don't Be Shy, and we are ready <laughs> for that vacation. This is given, pretty girl. You're flying me out in a jet, in first class, in business class, and we're going to Italy. I'm in the boat. I am just, you know, the bag I'm going to also carry with this, you know, the, um, the straw raffia, Lady Dior, they have the ones that are like the summer bags with these. Oh, and you have your Oran sandals and a really gorgeous baby pink or white or yellow dress. And we're like in the boat in Florence and we're just going. And it's just like, oh, life is so fabulous. That's what I think when I see these two fragrances. And I'm excited to wear this um, during the summer. Love Don't Be Shy is very sweet and can get sticky if it gets very hot. Well, we need to find out what the temperature is like in Italy. We may be able to pull this off. And then when we're done from the boat, we go in and have a really nice Italian cuisine. Very nice pasta because they have the best pasta, best meatballs. I would be like stunning there. Like I try not to eat because, you know, the girl that wears this doesn't eat a lot of carbs. Just a little bit here, a little bit there because she has to keep her frame because she's the most beautiful girl in the world. You know, she can't be eating too much carbs. But she's going to be fabulous. And that is <laughs> the Lena from Parfums de Mali layered with Killian's Love Don't Be Shy. Now, who's taking me on that romantic, money, wealth-inducing vacation so I can be the prettiest girl in the world? Who? Who's taking me? Oh. The next fragrance I am excited to wear for vacation is from the house of Zerjoff again. Oh, Zerjoff's going to rule vacation. They're just going to rule the vacations this summer. And that's Herba Pewter. This is a really gorgeous summer scent. Oh, Jesus. Where are we going? <laughs> are we going to be in our country or we're we going to a different country? Are we going to be in our city? This is a really gorgeous fruity basket. This works in the summertime and I think it's really great for vacation. This does well in hot weather. This will still do well in a place that is kind of a bit cool. I'm taking this with me everywhere. I'm going to take this with me when I go on vacation. Wherever I'm going, I think of this when I think vacation, when I want to smell like a, a fruity basket. I want to smell nice because, you know, you're in your bikini. You're already seductive. You're already, you know, you, you feel sexy. You know, the fragrance that's going to make you smell sexy and delicious to invite, you know, all the guys to the yard. And that's what this is giving. I'm thinking we're going to the pool. You know, I have a really nice beach bag and we're heading out. That's where I'm going to bring this out. And that's Herba Pewter. If, if, wait, let's sit and talk. If you don't own Herba Pewter from Zerzhov, <laughs> what are you doing? This is the one fragrance from Zerzhov that you can wear, I think, all year round. A lot of fragrances have been inspired by this, but if you're doing, you're going for brunch, Herba Pewter. You're going for dinner, Herba Pewter. You're going on vacation, Herba Pewter. You're hanging out with the girls, Herba Pewter. You're going for date night, Herba Pewter. <laughs> Herba Pewter does everything. She goes both ways. She goes everywhere. She's very fluid. She's she's a fluid girl and a fluid guy because this to me is unisex, but I think it leans feminine to me. But fragrance is subjective. But that's Herba Pewter from the House of Zerzo. The next fragrance that I'm taking with me on vacation, with this one, I'm also thinking we're going to Paris. We're going to Spain. Like, I need to go to Madrid. And that is from the House of Creed. <laughs> this is Royal Princess Oud. With this, I'm even thinking, are we going to go to Dubai? Oh, we're going to Dubai. This is such an underrated gem from the House of Creed. And it's Royal Princess Oud. This is unisex, but because of the name, I feel like guys may not be drawn to it. But this is a boss. Oh, how did she get there? She got there by either first class or... This is not even business class. This is first class or private jet. This is a boss scent. It is such a gorgeous scent. And it has the Creed DNA in it. For me, if I'm going on vacation, I'm taking this because I want you to know that I am a visitor. I do not belong here. 
I'm just a stranger here. I'm I'm just taking a little break to come relax in your country. So when you see me, when you smell you, you'll be like, no, she's not from here. She's from the outer world. <laughs> she's from the money land. That's what I get with this. This is such a beautiful scent. It is so underrated. How come nobody talks about Royal Princess Oud? Everybody's on Aventus. This is so gorgeous, guys. This is so good for vacation. That is Royal Princess Oud from the House of Creed. The next fragrance that I'm taking with me on vacation this time around, we're going to we're going to Dubai, we're going to Qatar, you know, we're going to the Middle Eastern. So the next two fragrances are like Middle Eastern fragrances. We're going over there, but I want to switch it up a bit because I feel like they're gonna know the fragrance I have on. There's certain fragrances like if I take Seha Sheila by Swiss Arabia with me to Dubai. They're going to be like, she got Swiss Arabia. <laughs> what can I do to make them feel like you're one of us? You know, you belong in the oil village, but you smell unique and different. That's what I'm thinking. And that is where this comes in. This is Love Chopard from the House of Chopard. Look at the bottle. It's already given seductive queen, seductive princess. It's given Arabian princess. And you know our goal in life to, is to smell like an Arabian princess. <laughs> this I got. Oh, I got this because when I was in Europe, I got a, I didn't get a sample. She sprayed it all over me because they, they don't give samples. For, but Spirit of Dubai, New Jersey. New Jersey was $1,300. <laughs> I'm like, $1,295? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I looked at the notes. I'm like, I know I can find something that is slightly close that I can buy because I really loved it. It reminded me of a portrait of a lady, but it wasn't as pungent and sharp it had more rose and less incense it had wood but it was more of the rose rose the rose was very prominent it had rose oil when i stumbled across this and i saw the notes on fragrantica and they said this was similar i had to get it and when i tell you it smells similar to new jersey it has that portrait of a lady vibe too but this is <laughs> When I wear this, I'm going to be one of them in Dubai. I'm going to blend in, I'm going to fit in, and I'm going to stand out. This is the perfect dupe for me for New Jersey. And this did not break the bank. Showhead is a house that I keep seeing. I wanted to try more stuff from them. After this, I'm getting, there's one I've been looking at. There's Madagascar Vanilla. They have a, um, a few that I'm interested in. Their bottles are really gorgeous from the elevated line. I don't think this is from the elevated line, but this is so good. And I, this is like, I'm gonna be wearing this when I'm going to Dubai. Now, the next one is if we're going to Qatar. This what is Arabian's, did you hear the name? <laughs> Arabian's Passion from Thomas Kosmala. This is sickening but in a very, very unique way. Do not blind by this. This is very unisex, and I think that a man can rock this. This is more masculine leaning. It smells like, if you're not, if you're not, this is oud. This is the oud that, if you don't like oud, you cannot do. You have to really like oud, like oudy oud. <laughs> but this smells amazing it smells opulent it smells luxurious when i smell this i think more of a man than a woman i think of a man that has really nice polished shiny shoes you know a guy that will wear a really nice blazer is given those tom ford velvet kind of blazer this is so sexy i with this for me i'm gonna layer it on the trip to make it really more feminine. But I can wear this fragrance by itself. I've gotten this fragrance for like two weeks and this is my dent. Like I just randomly spray it. I think that this is one of those fragrances I'm gonna be tearing up. And when I think of vacation in, in those kind of places, I'm thinking this because I don't wanna use a brand that they're used to. Thomas Kosmala makes amazing fragrances, one. But this is a unique take and twing on the rose and oud vibe so this just gives it everything and the name is everything that is arabian passion from thomas kosmala now the next fragrance that i'm excited to take with me on vacation is 
Santa Comple from Fragrance to Bois. This to me is coconut. And I think that with this, this goes in the fall and winter as well, but this is also tropical because of the coconut vibe. I need to bring her out. I feel like when I got this, I got Ujo Intense and Ujo Intense got my love because honestly, I prefer Ujo Intense to her. But this is so creamy. It's a creamy coconut. It gives vacation vibes to me. It gives St. Bart. You know, we're going to St. Martin. We're going to Costa Rica. You know, that's what I'm getting from this. We're going to be out in the boat. You're gonna, we're going to rent a boat and we're going to be luxurious with all my friends. That's what I think of when I think of Santa Complet. It's more of a skin scent, like hugging, like six feet scent. It's not a room filler, but the quality of this fragrance is amazing. I don't know if I want to pack her in a box because I feel like she may get taken away from me. But I am excited to take her with me on vacation. I think this is a really gorgeous vacation scent. And while we're on the coconut, another coconut fragrance that works well for vacation that I I've personally used on vacation is Lalibella from the House of Memo. This is a coconut scent as well. This has coconut, it has rose, it has clove, and it has incense. This is a, an ultimate vacation scent to me. I love Lalibella. It's opulent. It smells, this is very feminine. It smells like a lady, but this is unisex. So we Now, the last fragrance on our vacation Lally. is the Hub from the House of Kajal. I think this is a really gorgeous scent for vacation. This is passion fruit, so it's already given. Let's let's be let's have some fruits. Let's be out on the beach. For me, I know it's passion fruit, but I'm thinking let's crack up, you know, the coconut and I put the straw in and I'm sipping it by the beach or you know on the cabana. That's what I'm getting. This is a really gorgeous scent for vacation. It's very fun. It's very playful. It's also sophisticated, like you can dress it up, you can dress it down while you're on vacation. If you have reservations booked in the resort for dinner in their restaurant, you wear this as well. This is really gorgeous. This is for summer vacation. It's not for fall, you know, and this is for the tropical areas. I would wear this. Now, this is all I have, y'all. This was a long video. I try to make it short. These are the fragrances I recommend you take with you on vacation in the spring, summer, and fall. I got a really good mix, and I try not to take a lot of the heavy hitters because, you know, just in case our luggage gets stolen, you know, we don't want to put too much of a heavy hitters in there. But it's a good mix, and there's stuff that I truly, truly love. And let me know the fragrances that you love to take with you on vacation. Do you like to take your heavy hitters with you? Do you like to pack it? You like to take your $500 fragrance with you? Or you're like me, you like to sneak a little $30, $40 and some 200s in the mix. In, always remember, in all things, add glitter. Whenever you're in doubt, add more glitter. And when all else fails, should we recommend prayer and fasting? <laughs> Add more glitter. Thank you guys for watching. This is so fun. I love this with the earrings. Everything.